my compressor to the milling machine and my compressor is in this little storage room and uh, this is my compressor I'm going to run a hose to my milling machine This video is made possible by the generous support of JLC PCB, China's largest PCB manufacturer. With JLC, you can have your PCB manufactured in under 24 hours, all while you track the process in real time. Prototype boards start at just $2 in any color. Check the description box for more info. One of the best ways to support me is to support the companies that fund this channel. Okay, I'm just going to flip the switch here to turn it on and push this green button and wait for it to start up Okay, what I've got here is WD-40 As we all know, WD-40 is a terrible lubricant but that's okay because we are just going to use it as a decreaser Like our hair, when it gets greasy, we are going to use shampoo to clean it to take the grease out WD-40 here is our shampoo And after we take the grease out, you don't want your hair to get split ends or get dry hair You are going to use LPS free as our conditioner But before we do that, I'm just going to use the WD-40 to take the heavy shipping grease off Okay, I've got my machinist stone here. This machine is straight out from the factory, but just in case there are any high points, I'm going to use my stone to smooth it out. Okay, since I've ex exposed some bare metal with my machinist stone and I've used the WD-40, I'm going to use LPS free the rust inhibitor to prevent it from rusting.
Okay, what I've got here is my Stever 986 machinist level. The uncle's almost got the level, but I'm just going to finish off and doubt it. It's not absolutely perfect, but it's good enough for now because I am going to have to relevel it in a couple of days anyway once the machine settles a bit. I'm going to install this vise and then trim it. I learned how to do this full as titans of CNC tutorial which I'm going to link in the description box. But any mistakes I made are mine, not theirs. Okay, this is a new vise. I have never used this before, so I have to make sure it isn't too big to hit the door here or the covers here. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, I'm going to use the hand controller. I'm going to switch to MPG. Depending on what axis you want to control, you can turn this and control the table. Okay, let's see if the vice is gonna hit the door. Okay, it didn't, and let's see if it will hit the covers on the back. Okay, it didn't neither, okay, so we're good. Okay, now I can get T-nuts and start bolting it down.
Okay, check it out. Zero to all the way across. Zero. Perfect. Let's lock it down. And that is how you install and trim a vise. I hope you all enjoyed that. Next time, I'm going to try to figure out how to make some chips with this thing. And if I can do it, anyone can do it.